Yes. Hi, welcome to another episode of Głos. Today we are going to talk with Jack Sully. Jack, please tell us more about The Matrix. My name is Jack Sully. <laughs> okay, what do you know about The Matrix? Well, I know a lot about The Matrix, actually. Yeah, like what? Um, well... What is The Matrix? The Matrix is sort of like a system that runs behind people's eyes. It's out there but you can't really like feel it it's not it's not very visible to the naked eye but if you really think about it it's there it's just you have to access it in some way okay okay how can you learn to see you can learn to see the matrix in multiple ways um my favorite is just taking a walk in late at night no music just look into the sky and really feel i'm gonna escape this world be ahead of yourself, motivate yourself, don't let anyone get in your way of your emotions. Yeah, sometimes I walk at night also, I look at the stars shooting from the sky down on the earth, especially in Russia, you know, the Russian comets that fall on different Russian spy agencies around the world. I often feel there might be a spaceship behind one of those comets that will take me outside of the matrix. What do you think about that? It's always nice to like have a deeper understanding of things that every, everybody sees every day. Like this, like the stars, we've all seen that. But if you really think about it, there could be something behind that, something that could lure you out. So I feel like that's very impressive. Not everyone can think about, not everyone can perceive like common things like this as you can mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i agree i agree i also tend to see different patterns emerge in the re reality that i observe for instance when i do just massive amounts of drugs i tend to see those people and they've been telling me about different financial education programs that i can buy in order to escape matrix what do you think about those financial programs you know, it's quite risky, those like, you know, all of those like people telling you tips and stuff because they're basically, they're telling you their info when everyone is different. They're everyone like, not every, not all of these like hacks work for everyone. So you really just, it's, the matrix is more about like, escaping the matrix is more about understanding yourself other than what people say. So you've got to escape other people's words and really become yourself, but like take control of yourself and everything, everything that happens in your life, you've got to be ahead of your game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I agree. I think that if you follow a pattern to escape the matrix, you don't really escape in a way that you should escape. I think you should escape just into being your true self and getting on that ship behind the comet that falls down in Russia, especially. What do you think about Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate, well, he's been very controversial, but apparently, apart from his controversy, then he's, he's telling like young boys, like, escape the Matrix. But the truth is, if you want to escape the Matrix, the thing is, he even said himself, he admitted, don't like ever let don't let other people take control of you. But then later when he says for more tips, pay me. So really, he you he is taking control of you, and you're trusting that he's going to give you these hacks. So really, you just have to think it through yourself. You can't let Andrew Tate tell you what to do, because then you're maybe out of the world matrix, but you're still in his matrix that he has succeeded to con to control. Is there a possibility that Andrew Tate is actually a program that is representing a red pill that Morpheus gave Neo in the original Matrix. Probably is, because... Okay, guys, please, calm down, calm down, okay? We are not going to talk about Andrew Tate more. I know some of you guys are very passionate about him. I know that you love his bald, white head but shiny and delicious mm, yeah yeah i'm gonna leak that main i'm gonna leak that okay guys so let's continue talking about the matrix i just want to know what types of tricks and hacks do you personally use to escape the matrix yeah because I feel like getting like a couple hacks from other people that can be quite useful. But if somebody, if you're, if somebody is like dragging you on and saying follow what I do, then yeah. So the Matrix is 
definitely about yourself. It's about how you see things. You've got to see out of the box. You can't, you can't let people look at you, look at something in a certain way. You've got to, you've got to go off the boundaries. You've got to trespass. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to ask you, what do you think about the bug life? You know, being a spider, especially the spiders that don't build the web, they just walk around and hunt little bugs and other spiders. What do you think about that? I feel like they've got their own ways. Like other spiders, they they have webs, they make homes, but these spiders, they are, they are ravengers. They, they walk around, they, they kill those animals and they run off again to find new prey. They're not like other spiders. They find their own way of like getting through and they, if they're lucky, then they'll be able to make it to the end of their lives successfully, full belly and out of the box. So I think it's quite an inspiration. Okay, okay. Thank you, Jack Sully. Thank you for being on the oh, podcast. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, I hope to record with you in the future. It was an amazing podcast. Oh. Wait, what is it called? Thank you for listening to Gwos. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.